Welcome to Science Lab with Mrs. Keener. Hi everyone. In previous Science Labs, we saw how gases and liquids are made of particles too small to see. Today, we're going to look at some solids. We'll see if they are also made of particles too small to see. You'll need to get some salt and look at it close up. If you don't have salt, you can use sugar, which looks pretty similar. I'm going to get out my microscope, the one that I can connect to my computer, so I can help you to see pictures of the salt close up. Take a look at the salt. See how it's made of little cubes? Let's look at it even closer. Let's zoom in even closer. When we look at it this closely, you can see that salt is made of little cubes, and each cube is a solid. Is each one of those cubes made of particles too small to see? Let's do some experiments to find out. Get a glass of water and taste it. It probably doesn't have much taste. It's just water. Add some salt, stir it in, and keep stirring till you can't see the salt anymore. Taste it again. You can't see the salt, but you can tell it's still there, right? You can taste it. Where is the salt? Did it disappear? No, it dissolved, which means it broke apart into particles too small to be seen. All solids are made of particles too small to be seen, just like all liquids and all gases. Let's make models of gases and liquids and solids and show how they're made of tiny particles. You're going to need to use some small items that you can use to represent the little particles. I'm going to use goldfish crackers. We'll do a gas first. In a gas, the particles are very far spread apart. They're spread way out and that's why gases are very light. If you had a whole bunch of gas, it weighs hardly anything. To make a liquid, you'll need to move your particles closer together. Liquids have their particles more closely packed. These little particles attract each other and they often sort of stick to each other like tiny little magnets. Watch this video in which I pop a water balloon and take a look at the water as it falls out. See how it sticks to itself? That's because it's a liquid and it's made of tiny particles that attract each other. For the model of the solid, I want you to figure this one out on your own. How do you think your particles should be arranged to make a solid material? Show me in Flipgrid what your gas, your liquid, and your solids look like. And then if you can, please try to show me an example of each from your house, a gas, a liquid, and a solid. Share pictures or video in Flipgrid.